Hello all, and now we are going to consider uh, Kant's ethics, mainly around the critique of practical reason, uh, which honestly is what some would consider as like a philosophy of the will. Um, some people would say that um, the critique of pure reason is more or less a philosophy towards knowledge and metaphysical limitations, whereas practical is towards um, good intentions and will and um, uh, judgment is uh, about uh, feelings and um, art and uh, things such as that matters. But anyway, I wanted to really talk more about the categorical imperative in particular. Um, and really, it's pretty easy to see how and how he does this with um, the a priori um, uh, mental structures. Um, he asks whether or not they're um, subjective principles uh, towards moral thinking, much like he did to the a priori um, categories uh, prior. Um, and it's pretty clear that Kant's obviously famous for being a moral realist. Um, he definitely believes that there is um, you know, right and wrong um, towards things. And I think most people... Um, you know, when you when you ask questions such as, um, you know, uh, things uh, being towards the way they ought to be, and um, you know the the principles of you know not stealing, um, which he would say is of course the kind of empirical input of um, the act of stealing, um, and then uh, interchanges with the a priori principle of. Um, the wrongness of it. Um, it's the principle of, of, of knowing right and wrong uh, as opposed to it's uh, the empirical input of, just of it itself, which of course has moral implications of uh, his distinction between hypothetical morals. So if you want um, you know something out of someone that's sort of uh, utilitarian friendship, if you will, uh, you know, business partnership or something like that, uh, that would, of course, be a kind of hypothetical moral where, um, you know, circumstance uh, does not necessarily mean that it's a moral good. Um, it's just uh, more or less just the empirical input of um, circumstance. Um, whereas the categorical imperative is without qualification of these sort of things. Um, now, of course, duty is, of course, uh, what really is the glue, if you will, of this whole uh, categorical imperative. It's the sense of duty uh, towards rational thought, towards being a rational human being, um, and understanding that reflectively towards other people is really what uh, the sense of duty um, and, you know, overcoming the sort of um, um, deterministic, genetic, biological, whatever uh, uh, that was to come afterwards. Ultimately, though, uh, you do have uh, rational thought uh, that can overcome these sort of inclinations, these sort of uh, um, um, attitudes, uh, wealth inequality, whatever uh, you know, buzzword you want to use. Uh, it's the disposition of the individual's character, though, um, and the goodness of the will um, that uh, overcomes all of these things uh, on a rational basis, of course, though. <laughs> and then last, of course, with regards to the autonomous will, um, which, of course, is to extend, um, you know, one's will uh, or really uh, intentions as opposed to anything else. There could only really be goodwill uh, that doesn't have any sort of qualification towards man to give his uh, due diligence, as it were. Um, and that's really, uh, really summarizes uh, his ethical system. It's not very complex at all, contrary to what people would think when it, with regards to Kant. But, you know, with ethical... 
uh, thinking, you're not supposed to really have a giant rule book, I don't think, with a bunch of rules about, um, you know, moral obligations or uh, set expectations, whatever the case may be. Uh, you don't want that in ethics. And that's really what he's trying to get at with his distinction towards the imperatives. Um, you know, these are a things that these principles are applied to things not uh, of themselves they're um, um, you know it, it, it's a sort of standing principle that uh, will always be uh, morally true um, which is what he's really trying to say uh, whether you know despite circumstance despite desire despite that sort of empirical satisfaction um, the inclination as he would put it or something like that um, or the hypothetical morals of um, you know, maintaining yourself or uh, you know business partners whatever the case may be um, it is only the goodwill that uh, really can stand uh, you know beyond that and being able to abstract out of that and you know apply it apply these principles is what moral thinking Kant's trying to direct us towards um, in the sort of kingdom of ends um, you know the, uh, biblical of course uh, towards heaven on earth is really what he uh, says that we should treat each other with as a kingdom of ends not just out of you know, desire and expectations uh, within the moment, but um, treating each other as ends, as um, something uh, of, of quality, of, of that, that could have an endearing future. Uh, well, of course, regardless of worth, but um, yeah, to respect one's will and um, give to others is really uh, the meat and bones of it. And of course, this uh, it, it, it sounds so simple and um, easy to put out, of course, because um, you know this ethical thinking has you know such a long uh, tradition. It's like having a fish out of water. Um, and so, obviously, when it comes to human rights, um, Kant here uh, has uh, very uh, important influence towards people like Woodrow Wilson and the League of Nations, um, human rights, uh, those sort of things. And, uh, you know, I don't want to just sit here and, um, you know, critique Kant in some sort of post-liberal way or whatever the case may be. I want to actually ask and argue for people to consider, um, or anyone to consider, really, not just uh, people interested in this sort of content, but in general, uh, you know, are we able to guarantee uh, at this point in the first world, certainly, um, this sort of goodwill? Do we even witness it really towards people that, um, you know, look to be a part of um, our nation states, whatever the case may be? You know, are we getting that sort of charity back? Um, do Are we even able to really... Uh, logistically even sustain such goodwill towards each other um, that's, these are questions that I think are really important and I don't think you need to be you know down some extensive pipeline uh, to see it or to see um, the sort of relationship that happens between um, the sort of serfdom if you will of um, you know the flooding of, of migrant workers, whatever the case may be, low skill workers, uh, etc. And even high school, of course, you know, the uh, things like brain drain and whatever uh, else towards, you know, taking the, uh, not just the best, but also uh, the worst simultaneously. It's kind of interesting of um, all around the world. And are we able to sustain that sort of goodwill and charity that someone like Kant is talking here? Now, of course, you could say this is uh, this is just strictly uh, economical, but I uh, would argue against that. I think you know part of um, you know having such a goodwill um, 
is actually in its culpability towards being, uh, you know, agreed upon subjectively between uh, a population. And if you have this, you know, sort of distortion of just, uh, you know, just empirical feed or something like that in a Kantian sense uh, of this sort of open-ended world uh, come all huddled uh, with your tired masses, you know, is, what can we subjectively agree on? What is these moral standards? And that's really an, an important, perhaps, way to interpret these con videos here is um, the sort of goodwill and tradition of it but these sort of uh, unified moral standards, the moral realism that Kant is espousing, uh, there's no standard uh, towards that on a society level in uh, you know, any regard, even if we were going to say uh, uh, you know, these were the exact opposite of our values or something like that. Um, you know, the idea that you could even get five people really to agree with each other on these sort of things. But of course, you know, you do have those a priori principles that, you know, society, I think, is ultimately um, dependent on, you know, not uh, stealing, uh, obviously not killing, um, for the most part is you know, respected, I would say, clearly. Um, and those kind of principles uh, that are, is, will always be true you know, regardless of um, uh, where we might stand uh, towards a nation state or towards technics. That's an interesting way to look at this as well, is, uh, you know, Kant's trying to, uh, you know, talk a philosophy of freedom, of course, um, in many interpretations. Well, how does that look like in 2022 with uh, relationships towards um, you know, e-celebs, whatever the case may be, we, there's seems to be a lot of, uh, um, groundwork for grifting or, uh, sinister attitudes that, uh, definitely doesn't have towards a kind of goodwill. Um, you know, what is the implications of that with technology, uh, de-worlding our, um, relationships as it were in that sort of Heideggerian terminology. But anyway, um, I think it's something to consider, certainly. The kingdom of ends. Are we a kingdom of ends in 2022? Uh, what is, um, you know, the philosophy of freedom nowadays? Uh, and what can we take from that? Those are some interesting questions I uh, consider when going through the critique of practical reason. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I should be coming back with another video on German idealism. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting to see how Kant, who isn't a romantic by any stretch, um, helps usher in the, the romanticist movement, his Copernican revolution, um, the self and the inner resources, and establishing that sort of freedom of the will, as opposed to the mechanistic sciences, the empirical input that uh, we seem to always... Uh, be inescapable from that sort of determinism that Kant is trying to answer towards. You know, is this all just mechanisms of some uh, formulaic uh, expression of um, the universe, or is there a creation? Is there a teleology? Is there a purpose? Um, that's what Kant was trying to get at with his critiques. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next one.